After six days and hundreds of interviews with potential jurors, the trial of Mark Seavers is now underway. Today we heard the opening statements and we heard from a few witnesses. Seavers is accused of hiring his best friend who looks a lot like him and another man to kill his own wife, Dr. Teresa Seavers, inside their home back in 2015 in Bonita Springs. Thanks for joining us. I'm Patrick Nolan, live in the studio, along with my co-anchor Jane Monreal and our colleague Sandra Rodriguez, who are live at the Lee County Courthouse with the latest on today's developments. Ladies. Patrick, already a very dramatic day outside the Lee County Courthouse here with Sandra with opening statements. The first witness, one of the first detectives who uh, arrived on scene when uh, Dr. Teresa Seaver's body was discovered by uh, their good friend, Dr. Petritus. So let's start again with these opening statements, Sandra. What happened? Well, the beginning of the opening statement started with the prosecution really painting the picture of the crime for the jurors. Assistant State Attorney Cynthia Ross told the jury that Teresa Seaver's body was found on her kitchen floor in her own blood with 17 wounds to her head and some were so severe that there was brain oozing out. The prosecution also talked about the evidence that the jurors can expect to see. Now the defense started their opening statements by saying that Mark Seavers also wanted to know why someone would murder his wife and that why was coming from Curtis Wayne Wright, and that was a testimony that was unreliable, and they would later on tell them why that testimony is unreliable. Now, take a listen to the defense telling the jurors how Curtis Wright says that he and Jimmy Rogers allegedly murdered Teresa Seavers. He kicks over a dog bowl. Sound alerts Teresa, who turns around. Curtis swings that hammer. On the side of the head. On the way back. And very graphic. I mean, brain oozing out. Those were her words. Those right? were her words. And Mark Seavers did appear emotional when the defense was talking about how the murder was committed. You could see him on just taking his glasses off and wiping the tears from his face. Teresa Seaver's family was in the courtroom. They as were well. there as well. Her mom was present along with her sister and her brothers, and we do expect her sister to take the stand sometime throughout this trial. All right, and uh, it started out with more of the technical side then, with uh, the discovery of the body, the detectives' testimonies the crime scene tech rather than the sister, unlike Jimmy Rogers' trial. Exactly. We heard from the detective who was the, the lead investigator in this case, Detective Jamie Nolan, and we also heard from crime scene tech Kim Van Waz, who talks about the evidence that was collected at the crime scene, which includes the hammer that Curtis Wright allegedly used to murder Teresa. All right, so more on the witnesses then. Can we expect more of this technical approach going into the rest of the week, do you think? I think so, and then coming up at 6, we'll go more into detail about that evidence. All right, very good. Sandra Rodriguez in the courtroom from the minute it starts, uh, opening statements as well. So thank you for joining us. We'll see you at 6 o'clock. In the meantime, you can check out all there is to see for complete coverage on Mark Seaver's trial. Full coverage on this case that has been years in the making. Of course, it happened in 2015. You can head to our website, fox4now.com, or on your favorite mobile device using the Fox 4 app. We're also putting the latest updates from inside the courtroom on the Fox 4 Facebook and Twitter pages, as well as Sandra's Twitter page. We're live in downtown Fort Myers. Jane Monreal and Sandra Rodriguez, Fox 4 in your corner.